Today is Sunday, as you can see. That's right, gun rising. And I've got some time. So we're gonna go to the city center of Copenhagen and do a little bit of the exploring. As been said, let's get into it. And we're all good to go. We are going to head towards city center and the place called Town Hall. And maybe then we'll see other places as well. We'll see how the day goes. So this is the waterfront, which you've seen before. Just there, past that bridge is the city center. So we're gonna head towards this bridge, which we can see here. We're gonna go further out to another bridge. And then we're gonna cross to the city center. Just now I was giving some sort of drink. So that's the first um, surprise for the day. Sukefrei, I guess that means sugar free. All right, we'll see what that is. So this seems to be some sort of residue and that monument obviously that's made for the um, rock climbing. Interesting. So here we go back to the river thing. There's one coach from a train. Right up there you can see that bridge which leads you to the city center which I was on about. Here is a cool area as well we can chill. On the other side, you've got that green island place, a restaurant place where you can have something to eat. So a lot of water up in here. Check it out. I was wondering what this is for. And I thought they're gonna do a, like a water ball game where they swim in, like physically swimming in the in water, but it looks like they're using some sort of canoes and they shoot it into the goals. All right, cool. So as you saw, they can grab the ball with the hand and shoot it into a goal. They don't need to have to use the paddle to kind of shoot the ball into the goal. I thought it's only paddle, but I can actually grab it and throw it into the, 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 the goal to get a score. And they call it kayak polo. <laughs> you know what I mean? There you have it, another goal. Okay, what I need to do, I need to check the ingredients of this drink and see what's in it because there's a bunch of ingredients and I can see some kind of sucralos, which sounds like sucrose. If it's got some funky stuff, I am drinking that. I like how the place is benches in between those trees. That's really cool. <laughs> Base. All right, here's a little skate park at the waterfront. Let's take a seat and have a look on that drink. See all the ingredients from here to here. So I'm going to use my translator and see what's in it. So this drink has got sucralose, which is artificial sweetener. And it's made from sugar during like a multi-stage processing. So I ain't drinking this drink, so if someone wanted to have it, or we can bin it. But since it was made, if someone make a use of it, it's just uh, sugar free, but it then it's got sweetener made of sugar, so pointless, waste. 
giving that free but I'm gonna pass on that people chilling everywhere and on the grass and everywhere and everywhere you know big city life what do you know everywhere is the same yeah London Barcelona you name it it's the same stuff so here's the bridge which leads to city center and we have to get on top of it right there where the steps are to cross it over let's go we need to watch the bikes because we in Copenhagen Denmark so whatever there is road there's bicycle path check it out and you need to make sure the same way you look for the cars not to knock you over the same look for the bikes and watch out where you go I leave the drink there and we're gonna keep going through the bridge city center so we just walked from all the way there it's a little bit windy on this bridge so hopefully the microphone which is built in that I'm using in this GoPro it's okay so we walk from there all the way across and far in the distance there's that bridge which I could cross over and as well walk on this side if I wanted to and all this will lead me as well just there okay into a city center and we can see a town hall tower with the clock at the top people jogging, people riding cars are passing big city man <laughs> check it out guys I don't know if you can see that but on this building it just says Dan Hostel so maybe this is some sort of hostel where technically you could stay for a low price or you know maybe free well probably not free but like at the lower rate than hotels in the city center also I wanted to see that place called uh, let me think what was the name steel hotel steel as a metal steel not steel as a steel stuff yeah steel hotel because I was considering coming here without the van and staying in that hotel I want to have a look at it maybe go into that hotel because basically what you could do you could rent a room six people room shared accommodation when you would sleep in those kind of like a bunk beds which kind of looks like capsules and it's very narrow room if I was gonna stay there let's say a month or three months then probably I would see a bunch of different people changing every few days because I guess in this kind of shared accommodations people go and stay there for a short period of time so I was considering doing that but since it's you know shared accommodation and also I wanted to bring my gear aboard for kite surfing and my longboard there wouldn't be enough space for me to put it in the storage that they provide you within the room because you get like a little box kind of on a wall where you can store your stuff but that wouldn't be enough for me so the better idea was to get a car get a van which I date my Chrysler Grand Voyager and do it that way so we're getting closer to the town hall you can see there behind me I'll see you there 